Every piece of clothing has a humble beginning before it hits the retail store. Today, I get a chance to see those humble beginnings with designer Rene Ruiz. He's outgrown his store in Coral Gables and has opened a 10,000 square foot factory in Hialeah, Florida. He's on deadline to send out a dress, but put aside some time to speak with Fashion Style Miami. I wanted to find out more about his company, but I must admit, there's another reason why I wanted to interview this incredible designer. Well, I was... Uh... I was born in Havana, Cuba, and um, growing up in Cuba was, uh, uh, I can tell you, it was incredibly rough. It was just horrible, especially for somebody who was creative like me. Um, and it just, uh, I basically educated myself and I uh, taught myself by watching movies and like, you know, having a reference of the old world and like a different way of life and that was a way for me to escape the reality of living in that country and under communism, especially in the 60s and the 70s when I was growing up, that people were not even allowed to go to church or express their feelings. So, you know, everybody was very regimented. Regimented, right? regimented yeah. exactly. Like, people lived afraid of them, of their own family. Wow. You know, luckily I, I left Cuba <laughs> and came to this country and, and I, I worked really hard and I put myself through school. I went to the R Institute in Miami, which was a great school with Charlene Parsons, an amazing teacher. And then after that, I, I decided that I was going to try in Europe, and then I went to Europe for like a year and a half. And I lived in Florence, and I lived in Paris, and then I couldn't get a work permit because I couldn't find work. And if, I, if, I, if I'm going to have to sleep on a bench in a park or something like that, if I'm going to struggle, I'd rather struggle in Miami, which is always warm. Exactly. <laughs> And it's my people. Right. So I came back to Miami and I was lucky enough that I found a job designing mm -hmm. and and then they they closed but after way after I was there because they closed because they couldn't compete with China. Right. By word of mouth I started uh, my business like out of my apartment, actually out of my truck. So that's how I started the business. You know, just by going from client's house to client's house and then little by little getting more and more clients and then I, I opened my first um, atelier in Coral Gables in 1992 with just one sample maker and me used to cut and do it all and today we have almost 70, 75 employees. So tell me a bit about your process. It's, it, it, it comes in many different ways, you know, sometimes I'm just like, I just see a woman or I see just something that it just, exactly, they just you know, speaks to you. Exactly. They just move my talent. And and I sketch or I just think about it, even if I'm driving. Uh, sometimes I, I go to fabric shows and I buy fabrics, as you can see, and I keep you know, accumulating fabrics, hoping to turn them into clothes that people can, can buy and wear. <laughs> you know, and then, and then sometimes it's just like uh, a picture. Sometimes I just start drawing mm -hmm. and I sketch and I decide what I'm what I'm gonna do and then it's just putting them in the in the mannequin and you know and fitting them and go from there. Mm -hmm. So well I have this wonderful event that's coming up. I get to celebrate twenty years since being crowned Miss Alabama. I know I don't look that old but you know <laughs> <laughs> I would be thrilled if I could uh, wear one of your designs when I go back for that spectacular evening. And I would be honored so we have to see what we have in store for you. All right well, let's, let's check it out. Let's go. Great. Thank you so much. It was so I'm like happy that I had a chance to see the factory and really to get a chance to know more about you and, and what you're doing. And I'm just I'm more than thrilled that you're going to dress me for Miss Alabama. And so am I. And we're going to do something really fabulous for you. Yay. You're going to be the best. So can I come over to the store and you know? I would love for you to come to the store and see what we are going to come up for you. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about this whole thing. So it's a big occasion, 20 year anniversary, and I want to look stunning. So you know, my favorite color is red. So, what do you so think? let's see what we can find. I mean, I definitely see you in something backless and you know something really sexy, but still, you know, according to, you know to the occasion, right. something that can can be okay with the pageant crowd and the conservative Alabama, but still say Miami sexy. That's right. Yeah. <laughs>
So let's see what we can do and what we can find and, and hopefully we can make some magic. Oh, I know. All right, so let's try some things. Well, I have a few dresses, some that really fit my taste that Renee has picked out. And I'm gonna try them on for size and we'll see how they fit. All right. This fabric is gorgeous. Isn't it beautiful? And so the sequins on the bottom and then beads on the top. Is yeah, we did like a irregular, like a different oh, uh, it's size of the Yeah. And then we embroidered the fabric and then top of that, we applied the micro beads. How would you describe this dress? Well, this is very architectural, as you can see the lines. You see, like all, you know, the peplum, which is like very fashionable today, it's like very 1940s, but I wanted to do like a very modern version, and I didn't do a full ple peplum, I came here to the side. Okay. And it has very architectural seams. You can see like the way it goes like, like mm -hmm. that, instead of having just like a straight seam down the, down the side. Right, right. And then it has the seams in the front, so it's all about like shaping the body, mm -hmm. but in a very like uh, modern and architectural way. This is gorgeous. So what do you think? I love it. I love the color. I love the fit. It's beautiful. And I love your body. And, mm -hmm. beautiful. and I love your shoulders. Right. The color for you, it's just everything. Mm -hmm. And I love this asymmetrical thing, it just makes me. You do a little bit more black frosty crystals, but really pop it. Right? Yeah. What do you think? I love it. I told you that was the one. You did. Oh, he said. Right. It's amazing. Your butt, if, from walking <laughs> in the back. No, because the draping is oh, spectacular look at that. in the back. Oh, this is gorgeous. It's a work of art. It is. The bouchier is just a little bit bigger than her. This is a, a silk jacquard that is hand painted and also what we did is that we applied Swarovski crystals and the fabric just to give it like another dimension and also it's one piece of fabric so you see it has no seam so we draped it almost like it was very sculptural so that's one of the things that I do that I like to um, not just use like stretchy fabrics like I use like uh, non-stretch fabrics and I make them mold the body of a woman mm -hmm. and that's why and how do you feel in it? I feel amazing. Great. And the color is beautiful. I just, I love everything about it. The cut, I love off the shoulder. I love the asymmetrical lines here. It's beautiful. I think you look gorgeous in it. But we can try something else. Just okay. to see. Let's play some more. Thank you so much for the help today with the dresses. They're gorgeous. It's really my honor. Well, this, this is, it's a special occasion. And in the room, I really got emotional you know because I know it's gonna be a really emotional night anyway but just the fact that you're doing this it means so much it is really really truly my pleasure thank you armed with some couture fashion from the talented Renee Ruiz I rallied the troops as we traveled to Birmingham Alabama where I've been asked to host the Miss Alabama pageant and celebrate my 20-year anniversary of being crowned Miss Alabama I checked in the historic Tutwiler Hotel in downtown Birmingham and with just a couple of days away from the crowning I headed over to the stage to go over my script with pageant director Walter Hill. Then it was showtime. And what do you think about my dress? Can I show it all? Can I have some stage lights? my friend Renee Ruiz who designed this dress for me for my 20th anniversary and Renee Ruiz can be found in Gus Meyer which is a store here in Birmingham exclusively at Gus Meyer so I have to give a big shout out to designer Renee Ruiz a personal friend of mine for giving me this amazing all my dresses tonight <laughs> the first runner-up and winner of a $3,500 scholarship is Caitlin Brunel Miss Robinson Thank you for being here tonight. Come on.
Well, that wraps it up for this edition of Fashion Style Miami. I want to thank Renee Ruiz for giving me two beautiful gowns to celebrate this 20-year anniversary of my win. We have a brand new Miss Alabama 2013, and this night couldn't have been more special. Thanks for watching Fashion Style Miami. I'm Miss Alabama 2013, and you're watching Fashion Style Miami.